Don Kessler is really a pioneer in the space debris world. Uh, he was the, one of the first people to recognize the fact that uh, things that we put into space last a long time, that eventually we're going to have a problem if we don't manage that population better. I'm Don Kessler. I'm the former senior scientist for orbital debris research at NASA. Space is a natural resource like no other. The area we use has become polluted with objects by the debris generated when they collide. What's alarming is that the problem will get worse, even if we stop adding stuff. This happens as a result of collisional cascading. Objects collide at very high velocities, creating a large number of fragments that go on to collide with other objects, creating even more fragments, which then collide with more objects and on and on. This phenomena is sometimes referred to as the Kessler Syndrome. Don is often referred to as the father of orbital debris. Uh, in a positive way, not the native way. <laughs> but he's responsible for better understanding the debris, what it means to space operations. At the beginning of the space program, there was a general attitude that space was a big sky, that you could put anything in it that you wanted and not fill it up. The problem that you quickly run into is because these things are traveling so fast, they run into each other. And as soon as they run into each other, they create a lot of debris. And the rate of collisions will then increase. And as the collisions increase, you make more debris. And those fragments go collide with other things, and you start really making it more difficult and more expensive to operate in space. After convincing NASA that this was an issue, we launched a program of investigating the problems of space junk with the primary goal of researching and developing solutions to keep space a reusable resource. One of my first jobs was to define the natural space environment. And what gave me an advantage over other people in looking at the orbital debris environment is I used those same models that we used to understand the natural environment and applied them for the first time to the satellite environment. Part of what I did was borrow some from kinetic energy equations and the thermodynamic equations of molecules in a box bouncing around. And uh, even though we've got much more sophisticated models today, they all come up with the same answer. The orbital debris problem is a classic tragedy of the commons problem, but on a global scale. If we don't change the way we operate in space, all this results in an exponentially increasing amount of debris until all objects are reduced to a cloud of orbiting fragments that are capable of destroying any spacecraft that attempts to operate anywhere within that cloud. 